So if you think having a gaming addiction is a bad thing, then you are playing the wrong games because the games I play make me money. So let's say that you are trying to get 37 new clients per week like this agency right here that I own. Well, guess what? The first step is to create a points system. Now, marketing tasks or tedious marketing tasks are boring. The first thing we want to do is outsource them. But if we switch the system and we turned it into gamification practices, you would do it all day just as if you were on your PS5. So number one, create point system. Assign points to each task based on its complexity or time consumption. For instance, collecting emails equals one point per email. Cold calling, five points per call. Pitching on messenger apps, three points per pitch. Website audits, 10 points per audit. Closing calls, 15 points per successful close. Now, achievement badges is something that's super fun when you're playing a video game. So now, Number two is to uh, create achievement badges for milestones. Email Explorer, collect 100 emails. Uh, cold Call Conqueror, make 50 calls. Messenger Maestro, send 30 pitches on Messenger apps. Audit Ace, complete 10 website audits, closing champions, successfully close five deals. Now tell me this won't be fun as hell. All right, now we got the leaderboard. If you're a gamer, you know what that is. All right, have a weekly or monthly leaderboard displaying top performers. So if you got virtual assistants or if you got in-house teams and staff members or whatever to help you prospect or do whatever, you want to create a leaderboard. This encourages a bit of friendly competition, just like a video game. Next is Quest. Ooh so set up weekly or monthly quests. For example, Outreach Odyssey. Collect 500 emails and make 100 cold calls in one week. All right, pitching marathon. Send 50 pitches throughout Messenger apps in three days. These quests, you can have prizes at the end of them for those that complete the quest. Now, next we have rewards. Now, this is the fun part right here. Rewards, convert points into tangible rewards. This could be a bonus or a gift card for reaching a certain number of points. Remember your point system. An extra day off for topping the leaderboard or a special lunch or a treat for completing a quest. If you have virtual assistants, then you could just like give them some type of bonus or something. So now the next one, is a team challenge. Introduce team-based challenges where groups compete against each other. For instance, team A versus team B in collecting the most emails in one week. The winning team gets a reward. And remember, you have your reward system back there. You can come up with that. That's the fun part about it. Power up days. Bloop, 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 bloop. Okay, introduce special days where points are doubled. Now, you throwing a wrench in the game, something unexpected. This makes it fun and spontaneous. So you double the points for its task, encouraging everyone to put in extra effort on those days. Now, this one, every story that is successful has a hero and a villain. You want to be the villain. And guess what? There has to be. I mean, you want to be the hero, but there has to be a villain. So introduce a storyline to your team. For instance, your agency is on a quest to conquer the digital marketing kingdom. The villain agency that has the most clients doesn't satisfy them and makes their clients lose money. Each task helps in defeating this agency villain and introducing their clients to your hero agency. So this is basically talking about those of you who have marketing agencies, SMMA agencies, SEO agencies, whatever. But these are money tasks that you can replace gaming addictions with. It is profitable for you to be able to spend a lot of time doing something like this, guys. So what do you think? Let me know in the chat. Did this help?